So last night I was laying in bed and I stumbled across this video where this guy ate for $1 a day for an entire week. Watch the video, great video by the way, but I noticed it was really high carb and I, it's not something I could do, right? With fitness, you gotta have a certain amount of protein, yada, yada, yada. So I laid in bed last night and I got online and built a shopping list for an entire week's worth of food and I wanted to see how cheap you could do an actual bodybuilding diet. One with sufficient protein, one with complex carbs, a healthy diet that's gonna help you lose weight, build muscle, all that good stuff. And I, I got it down pretty good. I got it down pretty good. So in this video, I'm gonna break down basically what you would have to do. It's gonna cost you $31.51 a week to eat like a king for seven days straight. So if you guys are ready to get this epic video underway, then as always, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! So the biggest challenge with making this program is the protein, by far. The video I watched, he had a couple things going for him. One, he wasn't really trying to follow any type of diet. He was just trying to get by. So he was able to focus on a lot of carbohydrates and a lot of cheaper foods, because as you're gonna see when I break this down, carbohydrates are way cheaper to buy than protein. Protein is way more expensive. I'm gonna link the video I watched in the description box below so you can see the difference, but my idea was basically if I did not have a ton of money and I needed to really count pennies but still wanted to do like like a bodybuilding style diet that was gonna help me get results, what would I do? How would I shop if I had to be super frugal? So I'm gonna break down the price of everything. We're gonna get this started. So all of this food right here I picked up for $31.51, and this is going to feed us for the entire week with barely any waste. And this still averages out to 2,158 calories a day with a whopping 188 grams of protein daily. And just to show you guys that I ain't lying, here's the receipt. I literally just got back from Kroger, $31.51 you can see everything we bought. Now, let's break it down item by item. We got a total of 72 eggs. Eggs are a great source of protein, healthy fats. You're gonna get six grams of protein per egg, which is some of the cheapest protein you're gonna be able to find. And each of these containers is only $1.48. Not too bad. We're gonna be utilizing multiple carb sources on this program, but the two that were by far the cheapest, we got our black beans, an entire pound for $1.29. Five beans are great. They're high in fiber, high in protein. Gonna help fill you up and also diversify our micronutrient selection here, vitamins and minerals. Then we got a pound of long grain brown rice as well. This was 89 cents. Like I said, the protein is by far the most expensive stuff. We got an entire canister of old fashioned 100% whole grain oats for $2.49. We got some crunchy peanut butter for only a dollar. Talk about a deal. And then with chicken breast, the goal with this program was to eat a pound a day. So I tried to get as close to seven pounds as I could. We ended up with about seven and a half pounds of chicken here. Because I assume by the time we trim and cut off the pieces, we might lose like half a pound in junk we're not going to cook anyways so seven pounds of chicken and this actually costs for both of these fourteen dollars and twenty cents so almost half of our cost went into just getting our primary proteins here but protein is essential if you're trying to build muscle lose fat protein is the most thermogenic of all macronutrients meaning that your body spends more calories than with fat or carbohydrates actually breaking it down and digesting it and having all those amino acids in your system when you're in a calorie deficit is going to let your body know that it wants to burn fat off instead of burning off the muscle on you for fuel. So protein, essential. And then last but not least, I wanted there to be some kind of treat in this and I found a really good deal on these almond butter breakfast bars. I would call this less of a protein bar and more of a glorified candy bar, but at least these ones are gluten free. I have no genetically engineered ingredients, super grains, yada, yada, yada. I usually don't pay too much mind to that stuff, but they had me at almond butter. So, you know, so each of these packs, they were $3 a piece or so $6 in total on these. And each pack has two bars in it. So you'll be eating one pack a day on this diet as well. Kind of give you something it's not just plain food. It kind of maybe it'd be like your treat for the day, kind of, if you want to look at it that way. So $31.51. Now I'm gonna go ahead and break this down and go meal by meal and show you the exact program. That way you know what you gotta do. So the thing with beans is you gotta let them soak for a little bit. So according to the directions, you pour the entire bag in your pan with six cups of water and you bring it to a boil. Once it's at a boil, you cover it and let it sit for an hour. But that's gonna do the beans for the entire week. So we're gonna let that do its thing. And then you got our brown rice sitting in the rice cooker right now cooking at the same time that way we can save time overall rice cookers and air fryers are game changers if you don't know what brands I use description box below they are there 
So the key to being good at meal prepping, or I would say at least being efficient at it, is learning to do multiple things at the same time. Beans cooking right here, rice cooking back there, pan preheating over here for the meal we're about to cook. If you do these little things, all that time you save over the long run really adds up and this feels like less of a chore. The first time you meal prep, it's gonna feel really confusing. It's, you're gonna be frustrated with it. Now if you do it a few times, it just becomes what you do, man. Simple and effective is always the best bet. Now, let's move into meal one. Meal one is gonna require 10 eggs, but we're only going to be using five of the actual yolks because we want five egg whites. Like I said, the yolks are healthy fat, but we do not want too much fat. We want some of that pure protein that we are going to get from just the egg. White, nine and 10. Boom. Now in order to get the yolks out of the actual egg and separate the egg white, just use a spoon, lift it up, let the egg white fall off, bingo, down the drain or feed them to your cat, whatever uh, works best for you if you got a cat. Now once you got five eggs and five egg whites, it is oatmeal time. We're gonna need about one cup or 80 grams. I'm using a food scale to measure it out because this is by far the most accurate way to make sure you are hitting your macros. 80 grams, add water up to right above the level of the oats, perfect. And then throw them in the microwave for three minutes. Boom, boom, boom. Eggs are simple enough. Preheat a pan, hit it with some spray, and presto. Eggs are done, but we made a rookie mistake, people. Yeah, you see what happened there? Yep, don't make that mistake. And meal one is done. Not only is this gonna be super nutritious, it is super cheap too, man. I'm gonna put the macros on the screen for this right here. Pretty simple cooking here. Just about anybody is gonna be able to do this. So that is meal one with the quantity of eggs that we bought along with the oatmeal that'll last you an entire seven days. So that's gonna be the first meal. Let's move on to the second. I went ahead and cut up our first package of chicken into tiny little pieces because I feel like not only doesn't make it easier to eat, but it cooks way faster. So I'm gonna go through, and since we need 16 ounces of chicken a day or 448 grams, I'm gonna weigh out two separate portions, eight ounces a piece for two of our meals. So let's go ahead and start weighing this out. All right, nice, eight ounces. Do the other one, and boom, we got it. And we're gonna double pan it to save some time. A little cooking spray, preheat your pans because it makes this go by so much quicker. And bingo. This is bodybuilding meal number two. I'll put the macros on the screen right here. Eight ounces of chicken, 78.9 grams of brown rice pre-cooked. That was a mouthful. We also got our chicken left for another meal too. So we kind of killed two birds with one stone. Those beans should be done here in a second. But for now, after those first two meals, let's move on to meal three. Meal three is gonna be our snack bar. Gonna be a nice little break between eating two big meals. Kind of something to keep you going, you know? Let's check them out. Ooh, baby, look at the texture. Taste test, cheers. I wouldn't steer you wrong, big fan. Big fan. So for these bars, we paid about 40 cents a bar. Not too bad, pretty decent macros. Some actually really good ingredients. Solid choice for the budget. So after the snack, we need to get more food in guys. So let's move on to meal four. Mm. And voila, meal four in all of its glory. Putting those black beans to use. Eight ounces of chicken and we also have 61.2 grams of black beans and those were weighed dry. I'm gonna put the macros on the screen for this right here. Great source of fiber, great source of protein. We're getting 60 grams of protein here. Very low fat, this is game changer, and it was super, super, super cheap, man. If you're trying to bodybuild on a budget, this is a great way to go. Now for our final meal, let's go. And the final meal on this program is going to be one serving or 32 grams of peanut butter. We're gonna get 16 grams of fat, seven grams of protein, and seven grams of carbs from one serving. We're only spending a dollar on this. I think that makes it like 13 cents a day. This is a crazy way to not only get some calories in, but save a little bit of money. If you did not want to have just the peanut butter by itself, which is something I do all the time, I love peanut butter, you could always mix it in with your oatmeal at meal one and just have four meals a day instead of five. Not too shabby. So we spent $31.51, which allows us to eat for seven days at a calorie level of 2,158. With the macros on that being 70 grams of fat, 188 grams of protein, and 194 grams of carbohydrates. 
Now keep in mind, we are all different. So this meal plan will not work for everybody, at least work for everybody optimally. As long as you create a calorie deficit, you will lose weight. As long as your protein is high enough, your body will prioritize fat loss over burning muscle. If you want more of an ideal program broken down specifically for you, your stats, your food preferences, ETC, check out my website, RamiJanaceFitness.com, and I can be your personal trainer and put something together just for you. But I would say if you're new to dieting, this is a good place to start, especially if you want to save a little money and make some sweet gains at the exact same time. I will go ahead and post this full program in the description box below. That way, if you guys want to copy it and check it out, you can. And I just filmed my first video last night for my new gaming channel, Remington Games, and I'm going to link that in the description box below as well. I should have a video up on there within the next couple of days. So make sure you head over there, subscribe, and be on the lookout. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. I am so exhausted on this cut. It's not even funny. So I need to, uh, yeah, go take a nap and then edit this video. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching, and I will see y'all at the next video. See you guys. Bye.